Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. I'm going to try to explain what you're watching right now. My buddy Black Mead and I were messing around in the Court of Oryx a few days ago and uh, we came across a fire team of two people. They were complete randoms and they were trying to do the Tier 3 Court of Oryx, which that particular week was the Baby Kuroda, as everybody calls them. The fanatic of Kuroda, right? So we're sitting there and, you know, we start trying to help them. You know, we drop Crota and one of the guys picks up the sword and just sits there. Doesn't do anything, right? So then one of us picks up the sword and they don't shoot Crota. So we didn't get to complete it. So then the other guy picks up the sword again and just clearly has no clue whatsoever what's going on. So eventually we say, okay, well, maybe they just want to do it themselves so let's go have a seat and we were met by them teabagging us and shooting us in the face now that is not how you ask for help so uh naturally black meat and i decided okay well if they're going to act like that then we're definitely not going to help them and we proceeded to go take a seat and watch them try and fail repeatedly just time after time again Clearly no understanding whatsoever of how this fight mechanic works. Uh, no idea that you need to drop Crota and then hit him with a sword instead of just pick up the sword and run to him. And this went on for quite some time, to the point where eventually I started feeling bad for them. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm a gunslinger hunter, so I'll pop Golden Gun, put on Celestial Nighthawk. I can one-shot Crota and drop him to his knees. Uh, so when dude picks up the sword, I'll, you know, shoot him with the golden gun, drop him down, and then, you know, homeboy can go do his thing. And even me doing that, I mean, it, it didn't work out. And as you can see right here, like, he actually starts doing damage a little bit here in just a second. But then he dies while he's in the fire of the chest, which is just, I'm not gonna lie, it was funny. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, but, um... Why is this a video? Why why am I telling you guys this? Why am I showing you this? And uh, yeah, I think that there's a lesson that we can all learn from this. And that lesson is, is when you need help, when you obviously cannot do something on your own, um, and I'm going to give you an, an analogy here. Let's say that you're moving. You're moving from your current house or apartment into a new house or apartment. You have this really big entertainment center for your TV. It's super heavy. You can't lift it, right? What are you going to do? Well, obviously, if you can't do it yourself, you're going to need help. Now, if you need help moving something heavy, are you going to walk up to some random person and start shooting them in the face? Are you going to start teabagging them? Are you going to, you know, punch them repeatedly in the back of the head? Is that how you ask for help? No, it is not how you ask for help. And in fact, most people, if you do that to, or if you do that to them, you're probably not going to like how they respond. You know, in the instance of Destiny, they will just casually sit back and watch you try and fail and die repeatedly over and over and over again just because it's funny, just because you were being kind of a douche. Now, on the flip side of that, all right, let's, let's flip it around. If you are polite and you show somebody a little bit of respect, you give them a wave, you know, you show just a little bit of respect, then those people will be more than happy to jump in and help you do what you are struggling so hard to do. And that's exactly what you're saying now. He finally gave us a little bit of a courtesy in the form of a wave. He waved to us, so Black Meat and I jumped in and we not only helped him defeat Baby Crota once, we ended up helping him defeat Baby Crota three times. He got quite a few new artifacts for it, and after that he was grateful. But the moral of the story here is, guys, is if you need help, whether it be in Destiny, in real life, if you're at the fucking grocery store and you can't reach something on the top shelf, be polite, be courteous, be respectful, and that is how you will get the help that you need. Now, I realize in Destiny, you know, it's not, hey man, can you help me out? I'm really in a pinch here, I don't know what I'm doing, blah 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 blah. There's not as many verbal communication techniques in the game of Destiny when you meet just a random in patrol as there is in real life. Okay, but surely you can do a little bit better than punching, teabagging, shooting them in the face, and just being flat out annoying. But anyway guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully you found it entertaining. I know I sure as hell did. We said, I'm, and I'm kind of ashamed to admit this, but Black Meat and I sat and watched for over an hour, these guys trying to 
<laughs> kill baby Crota and just failing constantly. It was actually getting pretty funny. But uh, hopefully you learned something from this, guys. Hopefully you did. But anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.